Hey guys, today we have an Epson Workforce WF2815 and I'm going to show you how to get this print head out of the printer, how to replace it. To replace the print head in this printer, what we're going to have to do is when the printer is on, go ahead and send um, either a copy through and if you don't have ink in there, what you can do is just turn the printer off and then turn it back again and so when you are turning the printer on you're gonna make sure this unlocks is gonna move slightly to the right this carrier and when that happens be ready to just unplug the printer so it just unlocked a little bit and I was able to remove the power supply now we can move this back and forth don't jam it back and forth because you might um, damage the print head or the main board like that just very slowly slide it to an accessible area such as this one thing I want to point out if you want to remove this and have the lid be open more uh, be ready to just open this side we have a video how to do that open the side to reconnect a wire that goes from the top it's just it's gonna disconnect as soon as you pop it all, all the way which I understand is going to be much easier to get to this print head Okay, we're going to remove all the ink cartridges. Okay, the tools that we're going to use are um, just these screw, uh, screwdrivers right here. I have a flathead, a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, and this kind of a pick um, tool to get to our print head. Okay, first step is to remove this plastic piece right here in order to do that. There's a hole right here that you can just press in. It's at the very front of this part right here. Here's a better view. It is right here. And that lifts a little bit and then there's another one in the back over here. Right on top of, the, of where the wires are. I'm going to press that in and remove this piece. Here we go. Now we need to remove this uh, cartridge uh, chip reader right here in order to get to the two screws that we have right under it. And they, those two screws plus this one up front, they hold the print head down. So in order to do that, we're gonna press in on the clip on this right side. Okay, so it's this right here. We're press it in and it pushes that piece up as you've noticed just now. Okay and on this left side we need to first remove this cover. It's this cover right here. I remove it in order to unplug the wires that go to this board. So I kind of skipped a step there. We, it's best to just remove this first so you can press, press on top best to use a flathead screwdriver for that. And that just removes. Hopefully it didn't break there. Nope, it didn't. Okay, so this is the piece. It goes in like that. Basically just covers these wires and also the uh, <clears throat> The clip that we saw on the left on the right side is going to be here too so we're going to go ahead and disconnect the wire that goes to this okay this is the wire okay we're going to disconnect that you can use the tool in order to make that happen and to avoid disconnecting any wires that don't need to be disconnected Slide that in there, and also make sure you don't damage it. There we go. Okay, the tab that we need to press in order to release this uh, chip reader is kind of in the same area. It's right behind this cord right here. So you're just gonna go ahead and press that. I'm sorry, it's kind of in the way. Let me make a better, clearer picture of that. 
Okay, so it's right there. It's very hard to see. I am sorry about that. Let me put some white on there. You can see where the tip of the screwdriver is. It's right there. Let's see if I can zoom it in. Okay, so it's right there. So you're just gonna push it and kind of pull it up a little bit and it should release that uh, cartridge reader. So at this point, after you release that, remove the cord, this just pops up. So make sure you save it, not damage it. Okay, so it's a bit hard, hard to get in here with the slid not being open all the way um, to remove the screws. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use this, uh, the drill tip and this uh, screwdriver tip. You can also, I have a small um, screwdriver, but this I just tried and it works just fine. So let me zoom in on that. And you, are, you can unscrew that just like that. Okay, we remove this screw, this one, and this one here. There we go. Okay, so at this point, just uh, remove, I use needle nose pliers to remove the screws one by one, just to get them out of my way. And then with the help of also the pliers, just don't don't pull it and don't push it too hard to break any like to avoid breaking any plastic if you do it's no big deal but just make sure you get that plastic piece out of there but you shouldn't be able to break the plastic easily it's a very hard plastic so just go ahead and kind of wiggle it out of its space there and you can continue with your fingers um, i use gloves at this point do not put any um metal such as pliers especially on any of the nozzle heads or nozzle um extenders if you damage that that's going to be a big problem your print head at least the top of it is not going to be usable anymore so i got that keep in mind it's still connected on, on the left here that's something that's easy to disconnect when you have the print head out so we're going to go ahead and do that uh, when you reconnect it straightforward it's going to be folded like this with this pad against the print head so you'll be able to just slide it in here and connect it that way so this is our print head that's what it looks like from the bottom this is where the ink comes out so we basically this is how you remove the print head um so thank you so much for watching this is what it looks like oops that screw fell in there and it's there let me remove that Okay. and we now have our print head out thank you guys so much for watching um, just a hint as you replace the print head or do any work on your printer take pictures as you go um, and that would help you if you lost track of some place or where screws go and um, where the wires go so here you shouldn't be able to have that problem because the wires are all different widths so that will help you so when we put this back we put it in with two screws in the back with the sticker up front it's going to go down first you're going to connect it here put it down um, and then put slide this back in the card reader then make sure you connect it then put the plastics back um, and you should be good to go so thank you so much for watching I hope you had a fun time watching this with and working on this with me uh, please don't forget to like share subscribe comment in the section below with your concerns or your advice and we are gonna really appreciate that thanks